Having beaten Ulster at Rodney Parade earlier in the season, Dragons were looking to do the double over the Irish province for the first time since the 08-09 season. Head coach Darren Edwards left the club before this game, leaving Lynn Jones, director of rugby, at the helm. Dragons coming into the game off the back of a win at home to Glasgow. Ravenhill was sold out for the 11th time this season. And the big Ulster crowd were looking forward to the return from injury of Tommy Bowe, the Irish international making his first start since November. Under-20 international Rory Scholes was making his first start on the other wing. And it didn't take long for the home side to get going. With just three minutes gone, Dragons were penalised by referee Lloyd Linton for not releasing. And Pienaar did well to land the penalty and give Ulster an early advantage. Mark Anscombe's men had made a steady start, then on 15 minutes the Ulster men let loose. They scored a really fantastic try, Jared Payne got the ball going with a looping pass to Darren Cave, who in turn found the on-rushing Pienaar. And no one was going to stop the South African from there, a brilliant try to get the home crowd out of their seats. Pienaar had scored 53 points with the boot this season, but this was his first try of the campaign. And when Jackson converted, it was 10 points to nil, 16 minutes in. It was one-way traffic, and in the 24th minute, Ulster were in for a second try. A lovely pass from Pienaar, and Bo showing the Ravenhill faithful what they've missed in his absence. The touchdown would suggest that he has no worries about the injury at this stage. Great pace, power and strength from Bo, and Ulster would lead 17-0 when Jackson once again converted. Ulster were rampant and four minutes later, still short of the half-hour mark, the home side notched try number three and for Bo it was a second score inside five minutes. A wonderful burst of speed from the Irish international whose hunger was obvious, although questions would have to be asked about some of the attempted tackles from the Dragons defenders. It all seemed a bit easy for Bo, who arrowed across the line to give Ulster a 24-0 lead, with Jackson converting. On 33 minutes, with the Welsh side scrum under pressure near their own line, prop Owen Evans was singled out by the referee and the yellow card was produced. On this side. Here you go. The and in. Moments later, as Ulster got a shove on towards the line, the ref ran under the post to award a penalty try. Ulster had the bonus point wrapped up before half time, and Dragons were in disarray. Jackson popped the conversion over for 31 points to nil lead. Ulster absolutely cruising to victory. There was the slimmest glimmer of hope for Dragons when Rhys Jones put over a penalty with the last kick of the first half, and that left it 31-3 at the break. Six minutes after the restart, Ulster were on the attack again and got back into the try-scoring groove following a good break from Scholes, which was halted by a great ankle-tap tackle by Stephen Jones. But in the follow-up, Ulster seemed to have players queuing up on the left wing to score. In this case, flanker Sean Doyle was at the head of the queue, and he trotted over for try number five for Ulster. Any thoughts of a Dragons comeback well and truly dashed, and Jackson put the conversion over to leave the home side 38-3 ahead, and with plenty of time to add to that. At the other end, Dragons finally had something to cheer about when Ross Wardle was put away by Pat Leach, and the winger did well to get over the line for a try in the corner with two Ulster men hanging out of him. The Cardiff man's second try in as many matches and his third of the season. Jones missed the conversion, Ulster's lead was 38-8. After that, the intensity dropped, Ulster's work was done, and Dragons were unable to lift themselves. 
when the full-time whistle blew, Ulster could celebrate another win at Fortress Raven Hill. Dragons' next match is at home to Connacht, and Lynn Jones knows his team needs to improve for that one. Final score in Belfast, Ulster 38, Newport Gwent Dragons 8.